It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Welcome in to the live show. How is everybody? Welcome to Kentucky. Happy Sunday. Welcome. <laughs> Happy fall, winter. Happy what November. Is it? November. I don't know. I don't know the season. It's officially November now, which means we're winding down 2018. Yes. And we're right in the heart of bourbon hunting season. Yes. So yes, I are. see all of you all talking in the chats about things that you've been finding lately. That's awesome. Uh, we love a good bourbon hunt. Um, but today we wanted to start our stream out with a pour of Maker's Cast Strength um, in honor of Dave Pickrell, who recently passed. Uh, Dave's a very cool guy. We had the pleasure of meeting him several times. Uh, I had actually had the pleasure of having drinks with him at OBC one night, and he tells great stories. Hmm. So, yeah, yes. and, we, so, and we just saw him at, at Bourbon, Bourbon and Beyond, Beyond. Yeah, yep. not mm -hmm. long ago. So We don't have any uh, Whistle Pig. Of course, he went on for Maker's Mark to, uh, whistle, to pig. whistle Pig. But, um, did his consulting, but 14 yeah. year stint at Maker's Mark, so mm -hmm. cheers to that. Cheers. To Dave. To Dave. So, and he was uh, consulting with Metallica on Black End, which yeah. um, I haven't had the chance to try yet, but look forward to it. We've been looking for it, we just haven't been able to find it in Kentucky yet. So, yeah, if I, you have any tips on how to get that, <laughs> email us at it's bourbonite at yeah. gmail.com because we would love. I know Bill, said, Bill did a review of it over on his channel, The Whiskey Dick, the Whis Whiskey, Whiskey Dictionary. We'll give him a little um, cowbell cheers too. Absolutely. To you, Dave. Just a little gentle one. Yeah. I'm going to put this over here. Um, so, I guess, you know, go check out Bill's channel if you haven't. Yes, definitely do it. Watch that. He was doing a great thing the other night, he was doing a fundraiser. Oh, he did. Uh, That's for right. Diabetes. For diabetes. Yeah. yeah. And we, we chipped in. We encouraged everyone. I don't know if it's still going on. I know it was during that live stream. I don't know if it was just that just time. that live stream or not, but go check it out. If it is still going on, please contribute. Mm -hmm. Bill's a great right. dude. All what right. do we got going on on today's show, Sarah? So today, first thing we're going to do is our sample shout out, and mm -hmm. then we will move on to this Chambers Bay. Mm-hmm. Um, which, as you pointed out, was aged on houseboat. Yes. Uh, this was sent to us by them, um, but we're looking very much forward to trying this. Mm -hmm. uh, haven't been able to have a chance to crack it yet. And then um, we were going to do this on Halloween, but then we decided to save it. Chad Holly, who actually is in the chat, sent us some trick and treat samples. <laughs> uh, so we don't know what they are. They're blind. Uh, he sent us an email where they are. Um, that we can open when once we're done trying them. If you guys want to talk to him in the chat and let us know, like, if I should stop looking at the chat at a certain point when we get to those, he can let you guys know what we're trying, but maybe we just don't look. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got a, f a few more odds and ends, samples-wise, laying around. Yeah. If, um, if we want to move on to those. I don't know how far we're going to get because we're starting out with Maker's Castring. <laughs> so first of all, for the sample shout-out, I really want to say thank you to Dwayne. Um, who sent us these delicious chocolates from Germany. Uh, we have so much chocolate right now, it's unreal. Yeah. These are like cocoa truffles. They, it just, Whoa, there's gotta this be. Is, this is in German. It's in German. Yeah, they're German. That's what I said. <laughs> no, but they, they have to be stored like at a certain temperature. And I, there must be so much delicious butter in these because they are so good. Fafenugan. Yeah, they're amazing. I'll, I'll eat one. <laughs> Just for you. She's gonna take one. Just for the to team. demonstrate. Yeah. Very, very good. Oh, he's in the chat. Oh. Thank you so well, much again. I was delighted to yes. get these. Let's see how it pairs with Maker's Cast Drink. Mm. I do like Maker's Cast Drink with chocolate. Oh, I mean, it's just. Dense. It's like biting into butter, honestly. But chocolate it's butter. Chocolate butter. Mmm. Mmm. If As you're we... ever in Germany and you can get these, go. I don't go. <laughs> G O U F R A I S. Highly recommend. As we say in Kentucky, mm. it's finger looking good. <laughs> I've never heard anyone say that besides the commercial. What? I say it all the time. <laughs> Anyways, thank you, Dwayne. Thank you. As I stuff my face. Mm. See how it. Uh... Oh, that's good. That is good. So. Did anyone out there do our candy pairings last time? Since then, yeah. have you done your Halloween candy pairings? Have you done your homework? Did you find any new discoveries of what goes well with what? <laughs> if someone says milk duds goes well with something, I automatically don't trust you. No one likes milk duds. No. They stick to your teeth. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're just talking before this episode how we're going to have to do a produced episode 
about more of an elevated like, bourbon and chocolate pairing. Now like now that we have dessert. these and our and our others that we shouted out last week. Yeah. Um yeah, we're gonna do you think that would be good for the holidays? Because I feel like people get a lot of like nicer chocolates, nicer chocolates and candies for sure. holidays. Or, or February. Feb- oh, that's a good call. Chad knows his stuff. <laughs> yes, very good. There we go. <laughs> Someone, <clears throat> Jeffrey said, if by candy you mean Cuban cigars, then yes. <laughs> we could I do wish, an episode where we were Yeah, I smoking. wish we could weigh in on the cigar and bourbon pairing. but we're I'm just... like, cigar is good. I'm fine with it for like two or three puffs. And then I'm like, mm, done. Yeah. And then I feel the same way about all of them. I've never had one where I was like, this one is fantastic. To me, it's just... But I've also never like tried to study them either. Correct, so. correct. Hmm, I don't uh, know. We should do our own barrel pick. Yes, we should. And that's kind of in, in the talks. We're... 2019. Working on it for 2019, yes. Yep, yep. Chris is saying hello to Pear Bear. I love that. Pear Bear's here. <laughs> Monica is ignoring Eric. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on, guys. Let's be nice here. Just, yeah, work with each other. I don't, <laughs> I don't get to look at the chat enough. And I know. And it's great. It's over there by you. And, Sorry. We you know, can switch sometime. Ah, that, people's heads would explode. <laughs> they think it's weird that we do uncorking this way and flight fights this way. That's just how we've always done it. I don't, I don't know, know it why. Just, it just happened. It just happened. And we were creatures of habit. Joseph Brazo said he can set us up with the cigars. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I mean... We need to bring someone else on who's... We do. We need someone to guide us. Maybe we could get someone from Jake's Cigar Jake's Bar. Jake's Cigar Bar. We have a great yeah. cigar bar. In Lexington. In, in Lexington. Well, technically, it's in Nicholasville. T- technically. It's, yeah. like, right on the edge of Lexington. Mm-hmm. And uh, we don't normally go there because I'm, like, allergic to smoke if I'm surrounded by it completely. So, indoors is a no-go for me. But uh, <laughs> I would love to have somebody out here. Maybe we'll we'll work on that. Um, yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to hold off on this rest of this for a little oh, while. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. Well. I, I uh, no. took care of mine. Okay. She's doing it. Um, all right. So now we're going to get to the review portion of the show. What is... Okay. i got to keep a look. <laughs> keep, keep the frame clean here for everybody. <clears throat> Chambers Bay. Um, you hand... You keep one of them and give me the other. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Put on my glasses. Uh, so, yeah. Chambers Bay. So, we've all heard of Jefferson's Ocean aged at sea. Now, mm-hmm. what the deal with that is, is it's aged properly in Kentucky. Mm-hmm. And by properly, I just mean traditionally, yeah. I guess. Uh, traditionally aged in a, a rick house in Kentucky for uh, around about seven years, we'll say, give or take. And then it is... Uh, those barrels are taken out to sea for a six-month voyage. It's supposed to cr- uh, cross the equator four times and hit different ports and, and all this and that. Now, what Chamber Bay is doing is it is aging the entirety on a boat. But not just a boat. It's a houseboat, which just sounds like the plot of a movie, uh, like houseboat party or something. But um, right here on the bottle, Boathouse Aged Spirits, Chambers Bay Distillery, uh, Boathouse aged for a minimum of three years, straight bourbon whiskey. This is uh, batch number three, mm. bottle 412. It's 95 proof, and this is a little 375 that, again, they did send to us, but our review will be our own. <laughs> um, let's see. What else? I think on here, I was reading this earlier, they said this one, batch number three, was three, yeah, three and a half years. Three and a half years, yes. It's just under four the first batch was bottled last November, so a year ago. Yeah. And was aged 37 to 38 months. There you go. There you go. Um, let's What's see. that in years? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, and this is a weeded mash bill. Uh, yes. So the mash bill percentage. 71% yellow corn, in mm-hmm. case you were concerned about the color it's of the corn. It's not purple or... Uh, 19% soft white wheat. Ooh, it's soft. Soft. And 10% malted barley. So it's aged in a 25-gallon barrels, uh... Char number four. Did you already say that? No, not that. Uh, in boathouse number D3, which means that they have A, B, and C, probably. D3. Uh, bottled on July 29th, 2018. There you Very go. cool. Yeah. 95 so, proof, about 40 bucks a, for a 375. Which, we've seen 375s that were more expensive than that. So, so, so right here. MSRP. That's weird. It says 25 here. Oh. Off premise. Oh, MSRP. off premise. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. That's weird. So, anyways. Huh, and um, <clears throat> where, where where are they located? One uh, moment. <laughs> Washington? 
What's WA? <laughs> yes. Washington. Okay. Uh, it says, yeah. wait. Chambers yeah. Bay Distillery, University Place, Washington. Okay. Uh, let's see. Here's a little bit from them. We have taken a hyper-local approach with our aged whiskeys and believe our bourbons are the ultimate reflection of Pacific Northwest territory to steal a wine term. <laughs> uh, we ferment with wild yeast harvested from a local apple orchard, and we age our whiskey in a floating boathouse atop Puget Sound, expediting ah. the aging process and likely Im and likely imparting a hint of the sea to our older expressions. Ah. Very cool. Puget Sound. But I just want to taste it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, enough enough talky talk. Let's do some poppy pop. Ooh. Hey. You got like a double pop because it bounced. I or did. Something. That was my first, like, not on but the table uncorking. <laughs> Would you like to smell the cork? Okay. That's really perfumey. Or do you just have perfume on your hands? What is that? Yeah, you know, I put my normal hand perfume your on. Your hand perfume? Today. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. So, you know, there's some good reviews on this. We have a... Uh... Are we lagging? Hmm? No. Okay. I just want to make sure. No. We are in good shape. Um, yeah, we have a, uh, see a review from the Whiskey Wash. They liked it. A uh, friend Steve Akeley at the ABV Network, he liked it. Well, let's see if they're right or not. <laughs> <laughs> it's an opinion. I know. I'm going to put that back in before I knock this over. Hmm. I definitely get the wheat. Yeah, for sure. Like little, so much wheat. Yeah, a little sweet. Sweet wheat. Very bready. Yes. Other than that. It's not smelling young. It's not smelling grassy or No, youth, just wheat. Youthful. Hmm. But other than that. Wheat, that's definitely, that's the, definitely dominant the dominant smell. smell. Yeah. Not getting any of the caramel or vanilla. Hmm. Well. Well, that's what we have to say about the nose. Yes. So now let's, <laughs> let's dive in here. Ooh. Huh. It's unique. It reminds me not of an American whiskey. No. It reminds me of something else. Well, I'll tell you what. Not in a bad way. It, it tastes like the nose. It does taste a lot like it the nose. It really tastes like the nose with um, some heat. Yeah. I wasn't picking up the heat at all in the nose, but... It definitely has some I heat. mean, for 95 proof, it's got it's a nice got a little, little punch. Uh, nice little punch. Maybe um, even... No, I took a <laughs> pretty good sip there to begin with, but it's it's starting to creep down a little bit even. Yeah. Someone got your shirt reference. Oh yeah, James Guild bourbon. It's it's got what Chad craves. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I let's see. Hold on. Someone said, "When did we start using Glencairns? We use Glencairns sometimes. We just have more of the Tribecas, so it makes it easier. Um, but today we're saving our Tribecas for a project that we're doing later. So we decided to use Glencairns because we don't want to wash things multiple times. Yes, because we're lazy. So it's a product of laziness." In other words. Um, Second sip. Um, yeah, it's... It gets a little bit more complex with the second sip. Now that the tongue is kind of acclimated. But I'll tell you what. Usually it's a killer. And we wouldn't have normally done this. But, you know, we were doing a, a, a cheers, of course, earlier to Dave Pickerel. But usually it's a killer to go from a 110 proof... 110.7 proof cast strength to a 95. I don't feel that way at all, though. But, yeah, exactly. It's it's uh, It didn't kill it. A lot of times that can make something taste kind of like water. Like, well, right. there's nothing here. But this 95 is representing, I feel like. Um, I will say that it does not taste like a three-and-a-half-year-old. No. I think it's, you know, if you ask me what it tastes like, I would probably say five years. Mm-hmm. Um, now, and they attribute that to, well, probably being the, on the, the water, the smaller barrel, 25 sure. gallon, but then also the agitation of being on water, mm. which is, I think exactly what they say. <laughs> hmm. It does. It just has a lot of grain flavors, which I can dig a little bit, but it's missing something that I personally, like, I just tend to lean towards these, like, 
spice cabinet, desserty, caramely chocolate, butterscotch, whatever flavors. Nutty. Yeah, nutty. <laughs> Just throw words at buzzwords. <laughs> <laughs> It's um, um it does not have a grassy doesn't nose. Have a grassy it note. doesn't. It's just very it smells like wheat, like bread baking or something. Yeah. Um seaweed? <laughs> no, not seaweed. Not seaweed. It's well, not bad. Like it just go ahead. Let me read you their tasting notes. Their tasting and notes. And then we can see if we're pulling any of this out of there. Okay. Uh sea salted caramel and toffee with hints of fig, dark chocolate, candied orange peel, and toasted oak. Um, I can give you the toasted oak. Yeah, I was gonna say a little bit of orange peel. I can get a little bit of fig. I'm not I don't get the any, toffee. I'm not getting any orange or any. Really? I'm getting a little orange. Pam's toffee. here. Hey, Pam. What up, Pam? Um, and not so much sea salted caramel like the ocean, like the Jefferson's Ocean. I was just thinking if we ever have like a giant meetup where a lot of people come, we have to bring Pam so that when she walks in, everyone can go, hi, Pam. Pam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Norm. Yeah. Mm. It is interesting though. I'm not mad at it. So now we're going and we're Ooh. actually looking for these notes. Um, I don't get the dark chocolate. <laughs> Simon thinks he's funny. Is my favorite still Ardbeg? <laughs> on opposite day, yes. Opposite day, nice. <laughs> Zing. Zing. <laughs> Brought that one out from elementary school. Yeah. Hope you like it. Just getting more of the toasted oak and, I don't know, maybe kind of the toffee. The dark chocolate, not so much. If anything, maybe sort of towards like a coffee bean. Maybe. A little um, bit. Actually, yeah. you know, on the finish, I do kind of get that. Yeah. More, cho more of uh, the coffee bean than the dark chocolate. I'm just surprised how it, it kind of uh, lingers on the tongue with this this heat. I know, right? For 95 proof, yeah. it's got a spice that definitely mm -hmm. it coats your tongue and it stays, which I'm like, how do you do this, little guy? <laughs> All right, here is a, a, a boathouse cheers to Eric. And did we miss one earlier? Did we? Scroll down this way. Um... Oh, we did. We did. Oh, Mitch, Mitch and we missed whiskey yours. Whiskey is, is the best. The best. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, you guys. That just Cheers. reminded me. Cheers, whiskey is the best. And Mitch. You. And Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like it sounds like we're on the sea. We're on one of those buoys. <laughs> I know, right? <clears throat> really set in the mood. <clears throat> um, you know what this heat reminds me of? Like a chili. Like when you're eating spicy food. I mm. feel like it builds the more you drink a food it. Food that, that lingers and, and it, builds. Yeah. It's like <sighs> For sure. You know how there's like heat from a bourbon and then there's like heat from a spicy food and the heat from the spicy food can be kind of scratchy? I don't know how to explain it. More like, uh, <clears throat> um... It like makes you go... <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> I don't know. Heat more like when you drink something that's hot. So it's heat from spice, but also heat from temperature. Yeah. Like the very front middle of your tongue, it's kind of like, oh, I just drank some hot chocolate hmm. and it was really hot and it, you know, feel like, like... You know, when you eat pizza that's too hot, you're like, ah. See, I'm getting like a red pepper flake. Uh, yeah, there you go. That, like yes, when you eat yes. red pepper flakes, and I mean, I'm a baby when it comes to spices, so like a couple of red pepper flakes, and I'm like, it's so hot. Why is it so hot? Yeah. Um, and I kind of <clears throat> get that, you know, and that kind of heat builds the more you have it, and that's how I feel about this. It's like, it's like a spaghetti sauce. It's got some, it's got red, some pepper red pepper flakes, flakes. Yeah. in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. But it is kind of, it's at just the... grain forward. I don't yeah. know how else to explain it. Not grassy, doesn't taste young. It's just the wheat I think is really highlighted. The wheat and the corn are very front very and much, center. Very much. Cause you know how you can get like a, a wheater from the big distilleries. And if you're doing it blind, you could almost be like, is this a, is this a rye mash bill? Not like a rye whiskey, but like, is this a bourbon with rye in the mash? You can't even really tell. I mean, there's a smoothness there, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you can't just be like, oh, this is definitely wheat because I can taste uh -oh. the wheat. What's up? Maybe it was just on mine. Yeah, I think, hopefully. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I get a little excited sometimes. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, Paul. Thank Thanks. you, Paul. Thanks, we'll Paul. do it with the bottle. If you want to grab... Why is it lagging? If though? you want to grab the... <laughs> Boom. Wow, kind of muted it there. That's all right. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, thank you. Um, so, 
it's interesting and i really you know want to come back to this in about a month and see definitely how it's opened up yeah i'm intrigued it's different like if you feel like you're stuck in a rut with the same old same old offerings mm -hmm. and you want something different um i'll tell you what i would different. love to go yeah. to their distillery it sounds like a cool experience. And be on the houseboat. Definitely. Have a houseboat yeah. party. Yeah, and I, I really feel like this is the kind of thing that, like, you know, if I was out there and I saw just being in that element, I would mm -hmm. be like, I'll take four of these, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. How many batches do you have? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I actually, you know, people always argue when it comes to Jefferson's Ocean and... Uh, the Jefferson's Journey was another one that we actually were fortunate enough to taste. Um, and then things like this, where I do think that people argue that the seawater and the... I don't think it's the seawater, but the motion. Motion, yeah. And the travel doesn't affect it. And I would challenge anyone to try things like this or the Jefferson's Journey or the ocean and tell me that. Because we tried Jefferson's Journey aged in Kentucky versus aged on the water, and there was 110% a huge difference. So I think it's cool that they can make a three and a half year old whiskey not taste, or bourbon not taste like a three and a half year old bourbon. Yeah. Like, I think that's really neat. Yeah, for sure. Um, the particular flavor profiles of this batch, eh, maybe not so far up my alley, but I like it. Mm -hmm. People are like, oh, she doesn't like it. I'm like, cause I'm not over the top about it, but right, yeah. I'm not over the top about everything. Yeah, you're not gonna be over the top about everything or you just like everything um right what's gonna be cool about this is when when people come over i'm gonna be like hey i want to get your take on this yeah and, and you know and i think that's what a lot of people do with the ocean because they want to tell that story sure, to their friends and, and impress them you know it's a great conversation piece yeah for Whew. sure it's warm it is really warm my mouth is like <sighs> it is a tongue tingle it's a tongue tingle it is for sure all right well that's our review of this guy. Put that aside for now. Now. I'm going to go back to my maker's glass because I feel like this glass is done. Yeah. Do you want a trick or a treat? Ooh. Um, I want a trick. You want a trick. Trick well. and then a treat. So we're about to do, if Chad Holly's still on the chat, we're about to do his samples. I think I saw him ask about it earlier. We haven't gotten the chance to do them yet um so this is the one i think they're both in this one. Oh, okay this is the one with the question marks on it and then this must have been the this must have been the uh, blood oath oh, that's the treat you'll sale here let's read the card again this was our card that we got with it say tongue tingle 10 times fast tongue tingle 10 times fast tongue tingle tongue tingle tongue tingle tongue tingle tongue tingle <laughs> treat treat yourself bag that's the blood oath. Okay. Trick or treat. One sample for each of you. One is a treat. The other, well, you decide. Oh, okay. So these are different. So those are different. Yes. These are different. That's what I thought. One's a so trick and one's a treat, maybe. Oh, lil, lil, lil. Yes, that's the blood oath. So you had asked before, had we tried that? And the answer is no. We're getting ready to. We're going we're gonna to do it. We're going to do it. Oh, wow. You even, like, didn't want us he to He didn't want us to see the color or anything. See what's in there. I'll go in and work on opening this other one. Okay. How will we know which one's which? Are they numbered? Not that I can tell. Huh. Well, he says we'll know. So I haven't opened the email. He sent us an email that says which one's which. And uh, I haven't opened that. So I don't know. So let's... Oh, so sticky. Let's just... Um, yeah, I'm just getting just this one. Back and forth, these glasses? Okay. Yeah, all right. Oh, this looks light. I think I might have the trick. I don't know. All right. Hopefully I have the treat. He sent us some Mountain Dew. He said, you'll know. <laughs> oh, this one has like a porch. Did this come off the lid? Yep. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? Hmm. Interesting. What have you done? Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> thought Halloween was over. This is a very nice color and a lovely nose. So one of us has the trick. I think this one, one of us has the came trick. from the dark side. <laughs> Let's see. 
You're going to go first? Let me nose it. Yeah, go ahead and nose it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. It's so smoky. Did someone send scotch to a bourbon channel? <laughs> I think I the answer is yes. Possibly. Whew. Oh, someone's saying, Whoa. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. It Ooh. says bourbon for breakfast. Bourbon for breakfast. That's That's what it says. Or lunch or dinner. <sighs> Dessert time. Second breakfast, afternoon snack. Tea. What about second breakfast? <laughs> tea time. Whatever. Afternoon tea? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Scotch doesn't bother me as much as it bothers you. Is it going to ruin your taste buds? The rest of the day? For the rest of my life, yeah. They're For the rest of your life? <laughs> they're ruined. Woo! Yeah, there's no need to label the bottles. It is clear which is which. I don't hate it as much as you do. But it's got this smoky... It tastes... I just it's so smoky. This is peated. Is Pete, is Pete on board? I feel like I could light a match and go, and it would be like. <laughs> uh, if Pete and Pete, if Pete and Repeat were on a boat, and Pete fell off, who would be left? What? If Pete and Repeat were on a boat and Pete fell off, who would be left? Repeat. If Pete and Repeat were on a boat and Pete fell off, who oh, would be left? Oh God! Uh, me. Come on, the schoolyard zingers today. <sighs> I can't say I'm a fan. I'm getting to the point where I respect it more and I can appreciate the flavor notes more. But I already can feel like a like no a little bit of a headache coming on. <laughs> it's just something about it. It's so overpowering. Like I feel like it's filled my nose and my just everything. Okay. What about okay, this Chad's one? over it. Chad's over it. All right. This one. He's like, help, help, give me the other one. He sent us blended up band-aids. I mean, what do you, what do you expect? Now, this one's much darker. This one actually looks like a whis like a whiskey. A whiskey. You know scotch is a whiskey, though, I right? know, but I, that's why I said it like this. A whiskey. a whiskey. I'm offending all the scotch fans in They're there. They're going to be mad at you. I know. You better stop. I know. They bought their ticket. They know what they got into. Eric. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I'll use that $2 to get a taste bud transplant. Cheers to you. Uh, what, did, what did go back? Uh, Donner Pass Whiskey says, there are so many beautiful scotches that I know you all would love, but all people want to send you is heavy peated scotch just to watch your face when you don't like it. <laughs> I mean, it's kind that of entertaining be. though, right? I have a headache too. Like my temples just a little bit, here like, uh, are pushing inwards now. And it's like if you just push right I'm here, hot, it goes away. Hotter. <laughs> He's, like just I'm I'm He's just agitated. Sweating. He's just agitated. Get drink the other one. I feel like I'm having all to... all all the symptoms on those drug commercials is what's happening to all me. All right, I'll drink it. I increased anxiety. It's a lovely nose. Uh, oily discharge. Like. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never say, say that. that when you're drinking. Or when we're on the internet. This nose is much, much better. I wish I had tried the treat first. Because I'm still getting a little bit of the smoke. Like, the smoke is still in my mouth. Oh, no. This is miles better. It's a little dry. It's like someone lit a tiny campfire in my mouth. But is that because I had that first? That's what I think. I tried to rinse it. All right. We're going to have to wait till like, the second taste to really talk about this one. Ooh, I feel like this one... I still have the finish of this one. It's a higher proof. I think so, too. I think it's a higher proof. Um, mm. who called it? Uh, David, cracker time? You got it. Mmm. That's exactly what we need. I've never been the only one on here before. I've always gone to get stuff. I don't know what to do with my hands. Hurry back, Sarah. Hurry back. I'm back. I'm okay, here. okay, she's back. Okay, good. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Cracker time. Again, we recommend oyster crackers. We really like them. Mm hmm. Save my taste buds. Oyster crackers. 
Save me, Jeff Gordon. Mm. Save me. No, it's... Yeah, Jeff Is Gordon. it Jeff Gordon? Mm -hmm. I thought he said Tom Cruise and Oprah Winfrey. We're talking about Talladega Nights. We've switched to references now. <laughs> Maybe he did say Tom, Tom Cruise. Help me, Tom Cruise. Help me, Oprah. It's been a while since I've seen it. Yeah. Oh. Mmm. Help me, Tom Cruise. That helped a lot. I'm feeling much better. So he DJ Beacon said, uh, some people say a few grains of salt cleanse the palate. That's why I really like oyster crackers, is because they're lightly salted, they're not flavored, and they're bite-sized, so you don't have all the crumbly mess. You just Yeah. <laughs> Save me with your magical witch powers, Barry says. Yeah. Oh. oh, man. All right. Oh, wait. This is um, the scotch. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm not sure. I also feel like I need some coffee beans to uh, smell to get my nose back. That's what someone else... Oh, Joe Green just said it. Yeah. That's your armpit. Yeah, but I use coffee bean deodorant today, so I'm good. Oh, thanks for promoting the likes, you guys. They do say if you want to... We love it when you... When you, you like us. You know your own musk the best. So if you want to clear your nose, smell your arm, your, your armpit, your, el your, your el bend. The bend in your elbow. So they say. I don't know. Back. Oh, that's great. It's got a great mouthfeel. It's viscous. Oh, and, it's so much better now. Uh, feels like a high proof. Feel like it might be a high rye. It's the front part of my tongue uh -huh. creeping to the middle. That's it's great. nice. No, that's very great. good. I like that. That is a great treat, Chad. Thank mm, you. I think this is. What? Tell tell us what it is. Guess. No. I think this is about 115 proof. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I would have said. Give or take a little. I would have said one, tenish. Well, you didn't. <laughs> All right, time for the reveal, people. Let's figure it out. What is it? Let me see. I have it open. Move that email. Okay. Wait, it's loading. <laughs> it says burn after reading. Huh. Okay. Booker Sibawile. Damn. The Lefro other one is Lefroy, Lefroy 10. 10. <laughs> I will forgive you because you sent us Booker's. It was good. It was real Very good. good. So, Sip a while, that's at least 120. So, yeah. we, were, we were, you were closer. I said, yep. You were closer. That's the beauty of Booker's, um, is it never drinks like the proof that, you know, it actually is. It's, it's smoother. Um, we can't comment on the mash bill because they don't reveal those, but obviously it is a rye mash bill, not a wheat mash bill. So, at least I got that part right. I don't know if it's high rye or not. Yeah. It's the Jim Beam mash bill. Um, man. It's nutty. Okay, Booker, you can save me from the Lefroig. Thank you. Someone earlier said that you should have a... Save me, Booker! Save me from the Lefroig! <laughs> Someone earlier said that you should have a fragrance called Musk by Chad. <laughs> but I think we should call it Nutty. Smelling of nuts. Mm, Ooh, that might not be good. That's not gonna that land. That probably wouldn't sell. That's not gonna land, no. Smelling of Chad's no. Nutty? Gimme, yes. gimme. Alright. Yes, yeah, Sip a While is... I mean, I, see, here's the thing about drinking bourbon. Oh. I would have thought I could have picked this out of anywhere yeah. and been like, mm, bam, that's my favorite Booker's, Booker's right there, while. and it's the best one. Done deal. And this was our favorite one so far, and I didn't know it, and I don't know if it's because we had the scotch first or what, but... Paul! <laughs> Chad's agony and Sarah's <laughs> ecstasy, and Jose with its nutty. What? Here. I'm not going to choose that, that scotch. One. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> okay. All cheers. Right, cheers. <laughs> To both of you all, yeah. and a second one, second one, because there's two of you. I'm glad we've developed this cowbell cheers because it, it's, it's, progressed. it's progressed. It's progressed. The people listening in earbuds thank us. Yes, and they they don't like the uh, the loud banging. No, when I try to do a beat. Yes, we got a lot of feedback on that. <laughs> we've also gotten a lot of feedback lately about the song. Like people have been asking, like, can they get the song, the old Bourbon Night song? Why don't we have it anymore? It was turning people off. And we just want to be inclusive of everyone. I was tired of reading comments like, this episode's great, but man, that intro song is the most god-awful thing I've ever heard in my life. Or like, I won't that listen just, to this anymore because... Just kind of 
Right there. He wrote and performed right, that. Ouch. Right there. It's okay, buddy. It's all right. I mean, I understand it. It was sort of... It was meant to be weird and cheesy. And loungy, but still, I wasn't ready for that. He, it's okay, bud. It's okay. We're in a safe place? Yes, In here. the trust tree? Yeah. Okay. We're good. Here, you just finished that. Well, just drink your feelings. Chad, I will say this to that you. That was a lot of fun. Uh, thank you for the treat. F you for the trick. But it's good to know that bookers can bring me back from the brink of... Lefroy. Bookers and a cracker. Bookers yeah. and a cracker will cure you all. You know, what, what happened? You fell down the stairs, you broke your leg. Bookers and a cracker. Good to go. <laughs> wow. Lots of comments about the... Uh... My nuts? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Someone wants a remix of the theme song. Jeff Winbush says remix. I... Burr, 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 burr. Well, you know, um, you know, Perry, the, the pear bear. The pear bear. The, the bear the of bear, pear. The bear of pears. Like the Bay of Pigs, but it's a bear of pears. Uh, thank you, David. Thank you. It was his suggestion. You saved us, literally. Yeah, you did. You saved you saved our lives. How did we not think of that? Um, Pear Bear is a musician, and I know how to play the guitar. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Um, so I think like we need to develop uh, a reworking of the Bourbonite theme song. Maybe even, well, I should say previous Bourbonite theme song. Yeah. Maybe even make it into like a full three and a half a minute. Oh, no, six no. minute Bohemian Rhapsody-esque. No, 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 no. Bourbon Mia, Bourbon Mia, mm. Bourbon Mia, Figaro. I don't know. No. No? <laughs> All right, fine. I cannot. <laughs> Please, no. What's this? This is what's going to get rinsed. Yeah. All right. That was fun. Now let's do... Uh, want to do the Blood Oath? The, yeah, the Blood yeah. Oath. Okay, let's do it. Perry says, this is 100% going to happen. <laughs> Not Bohemian Rhapsody style, though. No, I think I we need to, like, um, acoustic kind of... Uh, you should do a mashup bourbon song. You know, Man of Infinite Sorrow style, like... Constant Sorrow. Why did I say Infinite Sorrow? Because that's the band from um, Saving Sarah Marshall and Get Him to the forgetting Greek. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Forget yeah. <laughs> what did I say? Saving. Saving Sarah Marshall. Yeah. Saving Silverman. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Get him Not related Greek. at all. No. Get him to the Greek, though, is shared universe. Can They're you get Tony that. Bennett to sing it? Mitch wants to know. Can it's not you unusual get... to like bourbon. Ba -da 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 -da. It's not oh my unusual. gosh. Okay. What's new, pussycat bourbon? Get, get the blood out. All right, fine. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah, ah, beautiful. Look at that. I love that you wrapped these in tape so they are truly a mystery, Chad. Very, very good job. He committed. You sure did. He said, man, that that Lefroy, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> that Lefroy. Really messed you up. Yes, yeah, it, it did. did. It really, really yes, did. Yes, it did. It really, really did. Chad uses beard oil? Um, no. No? Don't have enough of a beard to use the oil. Especially yeah. now. Oh, hey, you cut it. I did. Wait, how did I not notice that? You weren't here. When did that happen? When you... <laughs> I see. You send us all the sample bottles where the things come off. And the trick continues. I don't know. Do you keep this? I don't know what ha I don't know what's happening. Uh someone said I chat I noticed that you swirl in the Glen Karen and I heard that caused this major alcohol on the nose. What are your I thoughts? I did a little little push. He's not criticizing. He asked if that's true. I don't know, but we've definitely gotten comments. We've got people saying, like, for God's sake, don't oh, swirl your whiskey. Stop swirling your whiskey. You're just. You know what? Jimmy Russell will do that right there. And he'll look at it and he'll swirl it and then he'll drink it. And if it's good enough for Jimmy Russell, it's good enough for me. I've seen other uh, YouTube channels where they've been like. There it goes. Hey, should we, should we have swirled one and not swirled one? No, we'll we do don't want to do it. Okay. We're, we're, we're past the uh, point of critical analysis. That's true. <laughs> yeah. This um, is true. No, we totally swirled it. Uh, Blood Oath, what pact is this? Do we know? Help us out, Chad. Uh, I think it might be on the inside of this card. It just says Blood Oath. Okay, cool. Bill Badger, you need to call it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There's a ringing in my ears. You're going to scare him away. <laughs> Don't do it. Um, 
They Steve scare A easily. says, swirl away. You want the aroma released. Uh, I mean, it's packed four, Chad says. Packed four, okay. Um, so this is Blood Oath, packed four. Blood Oath, packed four. And I believe these um, are all 98.6 uh, proof. The same as your body temperature. Oh, yeah. That's smart. But also, I want it to just be at the proof where it tastes the best. Very clever, though. I see what they did there. Mm. Now, I don't think we've had Blood Oath since... Um, the Kentucky Bourbon Festival Gala last year. Did I have it then? You did, but you were out there cutting a rug with Brent Elliott from Four Roses. Oh yeah, we danced. That's right. <laughs> I love Brent Elliott. I sometimes think that Brent Elliott looks like a not much older, in case he's watching, version of Chad. Oh, he's watching. He's a nice looking dude. Uh, there's a picture of the three of us on our Instagram page, at its Bourbon Night, mm -hmm. uh, at the OBC. You'll have to scroll a while, because it was like maybe a year and a half ago. Yeah. Um, but you can kind of... You can kind of... You can kinda, sometimes people are it. like, I did a double take because that looks like Chad. Yeah. Um, also, I have a picture of Dave Pickerel and me on my personal oh. Instagram. We'll work for bourbon. Yeah. Yeah. This is a good picture. He looks so happy. He told he told a great story about be, almost being in an airplane crash once. <laughs> I wish I could repeat it, but I couldn't do it justice. So yeah. maybe some of you have heard that story, but... Yeah. Mm. But no, I do not remember this from the gala. Well, we had it. Well, I because they had an open bar, hence her not remembering it. And it Look, was later in the evening. So and I and there was and dancing. I, and, I brought, and I brought that. Um, yeah, it was a, oh, it was a great time. I, Al Young was there. We were there. up very late. Uh, yeah, we were sitting at the Buffalo Trace table. I feel like we're just now we're spinning the yarn. Yeah, we are spinning. Well, let me it tell was you. twenty. 17. 17, and we were sitting at the Buffalo Trace table, and here comes Al Young. I would. He starts breakdancing on the table. No, he didn't. <laughs> but he did a little jig. He no, did. I'm just kidding. He did. Um, I highly recommend, though, if you are thinking about coming to Kentucky, you should try to line it up with the Kentucky Bourbon Festival, or September in general, September, October, mm -hmm. great times to come. That's good. Um, but if you come in September, the Bourbon Festival Gala is quite expensive. Yeah. But... I got to dance with Brent Elliott from Four Roses, so, and hang out with Al Young and talk to, sit at the Buffalo Trace table, like, it was cool. So, and Chris and Leanne were there. Yeah, Chris, Chris and, and Leanne from, from Australia. Australia? From, from Brisbane? Yes, so, I mean, it's like making memories, so you, you pay for the experience. That's right. But it's black tie, so you gotta buy a thing. You, you know? gotta buy it. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. You gotta, you gotta buy thing. the stuff. It's a whole thing. But we also, I think now, are trying to plan our meetups in November to kind of correspond with events. So if people are coming to Kentucky for something like that, they can also get. Yeah. Yeah. So like around these events, we try to us. plan a, a thing so we can say, Hey, yeah. Yeah. So I like this. What I like about it, it tastes mature. You know, there's a little bit of that, like leather and tobacco in there. It tastes old. I don't know how old it is, but it tastes that way. Um, it's sort of Al Youngish. His bourbon, you mean, not the man. Yeah, don't talk about him again. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, yeah, it does have those really deep flavors past desserts and chocolates, like those earthy uh, leathers and. Yeah, it's very earthy. And for wood. Sure. I mean, but not in a dirt way. No. You know, when we took, we took the Stave and Thief class a couple weeks ago and they give you, they have a box full of vials that you can, you can smell out of and it's all these different flavors and it's like heads, hearts, tails, earthy, cinnamon, allspice, like butter, butter, um, what else? I mean, there's, you know, like 30 or some odd samples in this thing and you just nose them and it's like when you smell the earthy one, you're like, oh my God, dirt. I've, it's like dirt, but it's like. Not in a gross way. I don't know how to explain it. You're just like, I've smelled this in a bourbon before. And it, it's so helpful in putting your finger on exactly yeah. what that is. Yeah. So I highly recommend the Stavian Thief class. If there's <clears throat> one in your area, you should look it up. Um, and you can take a test to become an official bourbon steward. And that's pretty cool. Very cool. But very cool experience overall. And the book that they give you, um, I it's... think it's right down there, actually. I'll grab it. Okay. I don't want to get up. <laughs> Oh, hi, Lil. Lil's up. We just talked about you. We did. We just talked about the uh, Kentucky Bourbon Festival and how we were at the gala a couple years ago. Two years ago. That was a fun night. I would go back to there. 
Oh, someone says, Monica says you can buy that whiskey aroma kit on Amazon. Yeah. Well, st I'm about to add that to our influencer page. I'm going to write that down. Monica, True. you're giving me all the tips today. <laughs> I already have your chef recommendation. There you go. So this is the book that we got from the Stave and Thief class. And uh, I'm just kind of thumb through it this way for you. It's jam-packed. So much information. With all the information. <clears throat> History and and the laws and tasting and it, you know just all this jazz. Great, great uh, reference here. And uh, then you go and take the test. You go and take the test, which we haven't, we done, haven't yet. done yet. But we we haven't had a lot of time to study. Well, you know it's it's mid bourbon season. It's for mid bourbon us. season. We so, yeah. maybe January. Yeah, maybe January. Yeah. Um, mm, I like this blood oath though. Never pulled the trigger on one because I do think the price is kind of hefty. It's a hefty price, but, but it, it's good to know. It's good to know when it comes in that you For know, wooden some box reason, I've that. always associated it in my mind. Like, ever since I had the rhetoric and didn't like it, the Orphan Barrel, I don't know if it's because it's in the same shape bottle or it's got like a similar with the, um, mm. what's it called? The neck tag? Not the neck tag, but like the way that the words are written. Okay. Typography. Typography. It sure. reminds me of. The Orphan Barrel bottles, and ever since I've been let down by some of those, <laughs> I've just, in my mind, just like pigeonholed Blood Oath and that same thing, and that's not fair, because it's, it's great. It's not true. It's great. So it's thank you so much, Chad. That was an awesome treat. So Perry's hopping off. Uh, bye, Perry. So bye, Perry. Thanks for being in the chat while you can. Um, everyone go listen to his podcast. This is my bourbon podcast. We were just on his 50th uh, episode, one year anniversary, which is actually his 51st Happy episode. Happy anniversary. <laughs> But it's a you know it's a it's a two hour in depth uh, four four of us on the podcast. It's a long chat. It's a long chat, but it's a great chat. We get into a lot of stuff, and we try a lot of stuff, and we get we listen get deep. Listen to it on your next drive. That's what I do. Always do. Yeah. I break it up. I just finished it the other day, actually. So there's um, that. So let's get some. Let's get let's get drinking. Okay. Let's get to drinking something else. All right. Uh, so this was the plan portion of the show, but we've still got a few minutes left. Well, I have a topic in mind. And oh, yeah, we yeah, will Go pick, for it. Um, we have two things here that we can try. Mm -hmm. I would like for you all to choose uh, which one you would like. We have Boondocks Cast Strength American Whiskey, 11-year, 127 proof. Or we have W.H. Harrison Governor's Reserve Barrel Proof at 115. So these are both provided by generously Adam Nelson. Yes. Thank you, Adam Nelson. We're we're um, we're whittling down that great sample. Yeah, he's box in us so sent. many yes. samples. It was amazing. Yes. Um. So, W. H. Harrison Governor's Reserve Barrel Proof or Boondocks Cast Strength American Whiskey. Well, let's do the clapometer. Boondocks one, Reserve one, Boondocks Boondocks, flip a coin, <laughs> one twenty seven. Okay, everyone's boondocks. voting for the Boondocks. Boondocks Saints. All right, we got it. Boondocks it is. Got Sorry. A lot of Whiskey Thanks, wings. Fans. Next time we'll do the other one. Okay. So I can't. Yeah. You you, can uh, you look this up on that paper over there. Yes, sir. <clears throat> All right. Get this. <clears throat> this is our log. <laughs> this is an American whiskey, not a bourbon, and you can tell that it's very light in color, especially for something aged that long at cast strength. Ooh, TNT's Blues Corner. TNT Blues Corner. Speaking of. YouTube channels to check out. And music. And music. Cheers. Ooh, that was a loud one. Sorry. Uh, go check out TNT Blues, TNT's Blues Corner. Yeah, go check them out. On the YouTubes. We have met tunes. him and, and vetted him. <laughs> <laughs> he is a cool dude. No, very cool. Very cool guy. Um, okay, so these are available at Total Wine and a few other places. Uh, tastes like alcohol-infused honey graham crackers to me. That sounds good. Oh, we should go with those chocolates that have the graham cracker in them. Oh, I bet. Maybe. maybe. Retail is about $55 to $60, and they also have a port-finished bourbon that is eight years old. No, not not buttocks, Eric. Boondocks. Boondocks. <laughs> boondocks. Oh, he got it. I got shot in the boondocks. <laughs> in the I got it. Oh, I know, Forrest Gump. Right. This here Bye, Thomas is a little thing we like to call... Whiskey. How old is this? This is 11 years? Yeah, you're right. It does look like... It's very light for 11 years. Mountain Dew. <laughs> it's got a good nose, though. And... Oh, that's like pralines. 127 proof. You would expect... I got in there too much. I got would, too much. 
You would expect something, ergo the problem with Clint Karens is you can't really, you know, you got to hold it off. <laughs> um, you got to ease in. <laughs> oh, you, that really got me. You would expect something 127 proof to be darker. It's praline straight up. Maybe it's a used barrel and that's why? Question mark? Perhaps. I mean, I wonder what makes it. Steve A says whiskey. it's almost certainly used oak. Okay, there you go. That's my thoughts exactly, Steve. <laughs> Monica, please send that link um, to that tasting kit. We would Praline. love. Praline, what an astute assumption, Sarah. <laughs> the class is already paying off. Yeah, that wasn't in the box. <laughs> What's in the box? It's like a praline ice cream. That's what it smells like to me. No one likes mint chip, Sarah. That's. That's what Chad always tells me. Every time I'm like, I just want some mint chocolate chip. He's like, no one likes mint chip. I like mint chip. What are we at, 51? Okay. Ooh. So, while we sip on this. Yeah, it's not a bourbon. You can kind of tell that. We've tried a lot of new things today. But it's really good. Yeah? I mean, I'm loving... Uh, they love mint chip. Everybody likes mint chip. No, nah, don't lie just yes. for her. Don't lie for her sake. Yes. I can see right through you, internet. Um, it's got this kind of... It is pralines. Candied... Yeah, Kaylee... Ka Kaylee? Kaylee. <laughs> Kaylee Cuoco. Yeah. Candied sort of... Yeah, praline or nut, if you will heat that kind of slowly builds that yeah. 127 proof definitely comes through um and i feel like it's a back of the tongue it is a back of the tongue for sure yeah that's it they all say i'm right mint chip is delicious nah. um so here's the thing we're in november now and we're winding down the year so for those of you who've been with the channel for a while you sort of know what's coming uh you know our holiday gift guide is coming and uh the advent calendar which will take up all of december is coming so that's exciting that is an episode every day for those who don't know every day for 25 days it's like christmas because it is except for us <laughs> <laughs> um who has to edit so, every day and then after the advent calendar we will do our best of 2018 uh so We've talked about doing this a few different ways. It'll just be bourbons I'm this time. I'm not wrong, Joseph. Oh, he's wrong. Ooh, black walnut bourbon ice Do cream. not that send me good. mint chip bourbon. Please send mint chip. No, not bourbon. Just mint chip. Um, yeah, send anyways, mail. Anyways, so we're talking... We got a couple minutes left here, and we're talking about what we're going to include in our best of 2018. And I think we've got a few contenders um, that we definitely know right now we want to put in. But what do you guys think? Like, is there anything that we may have not tried or anything that may have fallen off our radar? It's hard to remember all the way back to January. We taste a lot of stuff, and you guys have seen most of it. Or what episodes have you seen from us that you feel like we were beaming the Just most about? Yeah. Hearts for eyes. Right. Like Bar Barrels for eyes. Yeah. I'm I'm interested to know what you guys think should be in that. Everyone's uh, saying I'm wrong. I know. Just because you are. After I drank scotch for you all. <laughs> Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, so that's that's one that would be in. The B518. Okay, so um, obviously prerequisite to that, we've got to do our ABC of 2018, which one's the best. Right. So we'll we probably be alive. A lot of homework to do before we get to this point. But, um... And Let's there's see. still a new Booker's release to come out. <clears throat> I know, and we got to do that on a live, probably. <sighs> uh, so Jason Unsworth still hasn't forgotten that you don't like Midwinter's Night Dram. Correct. <laughs> I will do tolerate we... it during Christmas once. So the rule for the best of 2018 is that it has to have been released in 2018. Yes. Because I saw some people saying, do we have the... C917, yes, but we did that one last year. That was in last um, year's contention. Yeah. So if you have any thoughts, um, Cooper. <laughs> I have not been naughty. He's telling us the Hill Rock Estate Solera Bourbon. Rick! Rick! Rickety Rick! Rick. Uh, okay. <laughs> Cheers, Rick. That was weak. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, I'm going to get r r rickety wrecked. Oh, Monica says, can we put the advent calendar pours on the Patreon page so they can prepare? The calendar's not locked down yet, but as soon as it's locked down, which will probably be mid till end of November, we will put that on, and then the advent calendar videos will start December 1st. During that time, we will not have any regularly produced videos because they will be the advent calendar videos every day. We will still go live, though. 
So correct, correct. So you will get <coughs> two episodes, two episodes in one day. Sometimes, so sometimes, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. Dang, we're, you, we're you great. Really, yeah, we didn't have live last year. No, we did. This is all because of patrons, Patreon, patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. Plug. Plug. <laughs> um. Daily content, yay! Daily content, yay! Spirit fingers, yay! So, we'll just go ahead and say. That's what I'm looking at. This shirt is ours, and it will be for sale. Soon. This is uh, another thing that we will be offering through our website once it is available. Soon. So a little tease, sorry. But, little um, tease. Yeah, these extra small through 3XL. <laughs> it says, it's got electrolytes. Bourbon, the thirst mutilator. Can they, they can't see it. Sorry. <laughs> Let me just get a washboard for you. It's got you. electrolytes. It's supposed to look like kind of a Gatorade thing. A little bit. Oh, stop that. You I'm look pulling like you're a muscle. in pain. <laughs> um, Mr. Bill, all 2018 whiskeys are just bourbons? Probably just bourbons. I don't know, though. Well, no, no, no. Here's the thing. Okay, here's my reasoning for that. Okay. What mm -hmm. I want to do is, during award season, February, March, yeah. do different categories. So, like, uh, best rye whiskey, uh, best this, best that. Yes. And now, at that point, I don't know, maybe something else will come into play. I feel you. Devil's Advocate. Okay. Knob Creek 115 Rye. Oh, it's so good. But the problem with that is every single one is a pick. But well, they're cast strength rye out of the world, out of this world too. I love it. That's true. So. Oof. Anyways. Daggone. We got to stick with the bourbon for best of 2018, I think. But we'll decide this off air. We'll decide off air. And by but that feel mean, free to weigh I'll in. Win. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's true. This isn't It's Whiskey Night. It's not It's Whiskey but Night. We've, but I would like since, to do the award show. Yeah, since day one, we've, you know, we've been on board with American Rye. Um, so American whiskeys, Amer rye. I mean, rye is basically bourbon, but with 51% I like rye. rye, at least. So, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll argue about this later. I like this Boondocks. Me too. It's good. It's very warm. I still get all the, the sweetness. It's a dessert for me. It's a very good way to end the show. It's I'm, good. I'm pleased and with I tell you it. What, Thank I'm, you, Adam Nelson. I'm going to find a chocolate that pairs with that Midwinter's Night Dram. I think we should. And, last two minutes, uh, we are putting together our list for our holiday gift guide right now. So we've got our, you know, little odds and ends that we enjoy throughout the year. Um, if there's anything that you've come across this year that you're like, they need to have this, I haven't seen it on the show, let us know. Yeah. You can put it in the chat. You can email us at itsbourbonite at gmail.com. Put it right. on Instagram or something. Well, yeah. Yeah, um, uh, yeah itsbourbonite at gmail.com. Send us, send us an email. Let us know Do, what we're missing. Uh, subject line, best of. And um, just let us know. Let us know if you got any suggestions. And we're not just talking about bourbon. We're talking about like accessories or anything right. that we could recommend <clears throat> on our, you know, our gift giving guide for the uh, holiday seasons. Like I'm definitely gonna put that drying rack that I got you. Absolutely. On there. So. Which uh, the plan is for that to come out what Black Friday. Black Friday. So, so we're gonna get on that. You got plenty of time to shop. Yep. Cool. Well, All right. we need to wrap this uh, this sucker up. Put a bow on it. Um, we will see you guys uh, Friday for our next produce episode and then next Sunday for our live. Don't know what we're doing yet, but we will uh, figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> As we always do, we're just kind of seat of our pants sometimes. 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 All right. Well, thanks, guys, for joining us. Um, we love you. We do. <laughs> Until next time, drink more bourbon. We're still live. Uh, awkward smile. Oh, uh, until it ends. Okay. Well, you know. <laughs>